kicked out of a gotcha store. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> She's addicted now. She wants to have more. Oh no! Hey guys, my name's Dan, and today's your reaction comes from Jaden Animations. This is Pokemon sent me to Japan. Now this is the first time I'm checking out this channel. Don't really know too much about it outside of a whole bunch of other people are reacting to it. So something tells me it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be really good uh, outside of the animation style I'm a fan of. I can already tell that part is going to be good. Well, we'll see how the comedy is. We'll see if there is any comedy. Honestly, have no idea whatsoever. So this should be a lot of fun. And of course, if you wanna see more of it, you know exactly what to do because the better these reactions do the more likely I am to check out more of this channel in the future I don't think this channel uh, uploads too much but uh, we'll we'll see how this video goes to whether or not I decide to react to more in the future but before we get into it though please do check all those links I have for you down in the description below more specifically Jin animations if you haven't already it's a great way to support her and it's this is my birthday month uh, you're probably wondering what sort of present you can get, and it's free, I promise. You don't have to pay a cent. All you have to do is go right below this video, click all those buttons down there, because I always like to see future reactions that I do, but also help me get to 9K and beyond, because I'm so close to getting there. And without any further ado, let's go. Remember when Pokemon sent me every single one of their Gen 5 sitting cuties for me to rank? Turns oh. out they really liked that video. So much, in fact, that they said, Hey, Jaden, awesome video. Why don't you come to Japan to watch the Pokemon 2023 World Championships? Oh, wow. Our That's country, pretty sick. You don't have to pay for your flights or hotel or nothing. Huh. What? Japan <laughs> yeah, if, if someone wanted to do that for me, I'd probably lose my mind, too. My entire life, and it was back in 2018 with my family. We did a bunch of fun little Japanese tourist things. It was a phenomenal trip. But ever since then, I've always wanted to go back and do all the awesome nerdy stuff Japan has to sure, offer sure, that I sure. didn't want to bother my family with. At the time, they didn't even know who Luffy was. They would have been so lost. So when Pokemon oh extended their hand and offered to fly not only me, but Jacob out to attend the biggest Pokemon tournament in the world, that is I nice for joy free trip to japan the tournament was only going on for a single weekend but jacob and i planned to stay there for three whole weeks to do a bunch of said extra nerdy stuff we Makes were sense. pumped eventually the time came jacob and i were packing up all our stuff and decided we both would bring an extra suitcase so we could treat ourselves a bit and buy a bunch of cool stuff while Makes we're there. sense. don't judge us we're anime and nintendo loving impulse buyers. i would never judge that because whenever i go on any sort of trip or uh, any convention or whatever, I always bring an extra bag because I know I'm going to be getting myself some goodies. Going to Japan. A game plan was needed. We were being responsible. Two extra suitcases was definitely going to be enough. Yep. Equipped with oh! extra... Oh! <laughs> need more, apparently. Pokemon straight up gave us business class seats. We didn't ask for them or anything. Sick! So when we boarded, we realized we had the seats where you could lay down. There oh. was some sort of seat divider that acted like a car window, so Ooh. I could roll it down and bother Jacob whenever I wanted. Quick Fancy. little 11-hour flight later, and we were in Japan. It was time to have the best trip of our lives. I'm, I'm not joking. I had the most incredible trip and got to do things I won't ever forget. And That's I, awesome. I won't because I've now plastered it onto the internet forever. We landed midday Japan time, so we decided to go to the first thing we wanted to see while abroad. Japanese McDonald's. I couldn't order <laughs> sure, any not? fries, but Jacob and I both dropped our jaws when we saw something called the Double Big Mac on the menu. Oh! Not Americans already went big with the Big Mac, but Japan did the impossible just to send a message. Yeah, oh, apparently so. Place. Let's begin with the next morning. Pokemon planned a bunch of cool stuff for the creators and partners they flew out, beginning with a group field trip to the Mega Tokyo Pokemon Center. Woo! And I woke that's up early dope. For it and miss the bus they had for us. Oh. And it totally wasn't completely my fault entirely because I hypothetically didn't read the schedule correctly and was taking my sweet time getting ready. Why would you think that? So we had to take the trains <laughs> on our own to get there. Anyone that remembers my first Japan trip knows the trains were me and my family's mortal enemy number one. We kept getting it wrong and it was failure after failure the entire trip. You'd think that with all that prior experience and struggle, I would have grown as a Japanese train understander right nope we got on the wrong train oh but at least we were having a, a good time yeah uh, yeah you gotta be super careful whenever you go to any new country or just new place in general because you're you, you gotta make sure how things work 
because things like this happen. Out of freaking out and mental strain and regrets, we finally arrived at our destination. And although by the time we got there, they had already finished looking at the Pokemon Center, we were able to grab a quick snack with the group at the Pokemon Sweets Cafe. I meant to take a picture of the Pikachu waffle before I ate half its cranium, but I forgot. So this is what you get. Now that we were with the group, we were Looks able to travel though. with them for the rest of the day. So we packed into the bus and headed off to a traditional tea ceremony where we were taught all about how the tea masters would make tea and tea etiquette and all these things about the significance of tea in Japanese culture all while getting to taste the tea the tea master made again I meant to take this picture before I took a chunk out of the little sweet they gave us <laughs> Whoopsie. here we are yet again I'm oh, just no. not that great at this they also oh, no. served us a really special lunch of super fancy bento boxes like so fancy that the host was like dude I've never even had these bento boxes before I was super excited but I don't mean to be ungrateful or wasteful, but the box was full of super fancy, complicated fish and seafood. I knew Ugh. going to Japan, I'd have to be flexible with food because it's really hard to be vegan or even vegetarian there. Sure. So I really tried to eat as much as possible and look thankful. But yeah, I, I struggled a lot, but I still- had Yeah, I mean, I get that. I'm not a fan of fish either. I had a great time and it was an honor. We were dropped off at the Yokohama Chinatown and left to explore a bit until dinner in a few hours. Everyone separated into groups and Jacob, Stefan, the guy that sent me all the sitting cuties, you guys remember him. The guy named Steve and I went and pursued Ooh. the street food a bit before stumbling into a little arcade with a bunch of crane machines. I got nice. this silly little bear minifigure. His name is Chico Ob, So I decided to innocently carry him around in my pocket for the entirety of the trip. You know, because he was silly. This single action severely changed the course of my mental stability going forward. What? You'll see soon enough. Oh One boy. Of the cute photos I got with him. We had a great dinner, headed back to the hotel, got to hang out with our good old Pokemon rival Jit. Or yawn a bit and called it a night the next day we all got to do some private shopping at the pokemon world's pop-up shop i'll just say we bought way too much stuff that we also don't regret in the slightest i even got this video of jacob grabbing more and more sitting cuties as the workers kept reorganizing them to keep the display looking perfect we walked out of there with three giant bags of stuff as you do because remember we anticipated this with our extra suitcases which I am starting to wonder if they are going to be enough, but surely oh, we will come down. Not. We were then all taken to the creature's offices. You know, just the place where they make Pokemon cards. It was gorgeous in there. They had these awesome sculptures of giant Pokemon cards with crystals. Whoa. And all the walls were lined with 3D card art. It felt like I was in a building with a lot of significance. Be because I was. We got a tour yeah, around the were. building, met the sure. TCG card testers, and were able to ask them questions about their process. Even got to have a little Q&A session with Atsushi Nagashima, the game director of the Pokemon TCG. It was nice. funny, one of the people in our group asked how they chose which Pokemon to make cards for. A good question. And then followed it up with, I really like Mantike, but there's only two Mantike cards that exist. And the assistant pulled up a list of all the Pokemon Mantike cards that have ever been created. And sure enough, there were only two. The wow. doctor chuckled and was essentially like, yeah, sometimes Pokemon get lost in the cracks. We kind of just make cards of Pokemon I like. For example, my favorite Pokemon is Gengar. And you know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. Also, sure. we were able to have a Q&A session with the Pokemon card art director and three artists who actually draw art for the cards. That was super interesting, and I was so incredibly inspired by that discussion. But you know those Pokemon cards with the super cute clay art? That artist's name is Yuka Mori, and she was in that panel. I nice. I was so starstruck. Those are some of my favorite <laughs> Pokemon cards. Please and sign all of my that, cards. But she hosted a little workshop for us where she gave us clay and taught us how to make little clay magnemites like in this oh, clay here. Speaking that's of awesome! Clay, she brought the actual original magnemites. Oh my god! Clay. That was by far the coolest thing that I've ever gotten to be a part of. We got to meet a piece of genuine history. Yeah? I felt like I was meeting the president. Also, here's me and Jacob's magnemites that we made. Day three of our little Looks Pokemon good. field trip and we were taken to another Pokemon center. This time in Shibuya, which was also right across from a Nintendo store. It was like a bullet was shot through our credit cards. It's in like, the shopping center, it's like, please I saw a take all my money. Scene with little miniature Chikawa plushes. I was only interested in getting Chikawa, but I decided to test my luck anyway. 
And I got them first try. Now nice. I had two of them. Yes, the original was still in my pocket. You can safely assume he is in my pocket for the entirety of this video. I've got pictures to prove it. Jacob snapped this awesome picture of the Chikawa brain rot taking over. When we were looking around in the Shonen Jump shop, a little Japanese boy pointed at Jacob and went, Sanji san before his mother quickly yanked him away oh! and I still to this day laugh at that interaction poor kid saw his first blonde guy in real life and immediately thought it was Sanji later that day we also <laughs> got to attend the Pokemon Symphony where a live orchestra played Pokemon songs and it was absolutely incredible video game orchestras are so cool it always mm -hmm. tugs on my heartstrings to see video game music transformed into such a beautiful new art so form. much fun Highly recommend attending one if you have any favorite games or franchises Agreed. On to the first day of Worlds. It was exciting. People flooded into the venue. We watched the opening ceremony in the crowd. Just wow. This is the whole reason why we're here. We went back to shopping. Look at this cute ah. little chico -op book I found in a nearby bookstore. At this point, we were absolutely pushing it in terms of luggage space, and we were day four into a two and a half week trip. Our shopping sprees until this point were very not frugal so we cut our losses and bought two extra giant suitcases to oh my better okay we knew we were gonna need extra suitcases getting a few extra couldn't hurt look the flights were paid for we were still saving money at this point i think that's my rationalization. You think? I'm going with that. Also in the mall right. were tons Fair of enough. Pokemon monitors straight up playing the World Championships. TCG, Pokemon Go, VGC. Japan treated Worlds like it was the Super Bowl. And it was just so cool to see one of my main interests so culturally celebrated. People of That's all awesome. ages would stop by to watch for a bit before going back to their shopping. I can't explain it, but it just made me very happy. We even got to see Wolfie live on the monitors. How'd he do? Uh... He did great. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened. Like, oh, we were sure. just happy to see our friend on the Pokeball screen. Oh, Hi, no. Wolfie, you're so cool. The second day of Worlds was hype. So hype that we left Yokohama and flew to Osaka. I haven't mentioned it yet, but we actually got tickets to see the one and only Hatsune Miku live in concert. Whoa! You really know how huge that is for me. I Whoa! I want to talk about how life-changing that was. That is sick! I'm going to make a whole separate video about that experience I'll be posting next. All I'm going to yeah. say is... It was the best day of my entire life. By a lot. Subscribe now before you miss it. Just saying. I will right, mention yep. we did have to take the train to get back later that night and got super lost again. And we never get better at it. Don't expect anything to change in that regard. No. We did finally get back to Yokohama, crashed for the night, and had a nice slow morning as we got ready for finals later that day. To any One Piece fans who are caught up, we were in Japan for the One Piece anime episode. Oh, you damn. know what I'm talking about. 1072 we were able to turn on our hotel tv and watch it live and that was so cool yeah it sounds like it how much i love one piece much mainly because it doesn't really come up but one piece is peak and it was an honor to be in japan at such an iconic part of the manga and a lot of good history. things Anyway, back to Pokemon. Sorry about that. We were able to watch the final VGC match live, got to chat and eat dinner with Wolfie and some other friends, had a late night hangout with Yon again, and that was about it. Day 7 meant it was time to pack up all our stuff from the hotel, say goodbye to Pokemon and Yokohama, bye bye, Pokemon. and over to the apartment we rented for the rest of our stay just outside of Tokyo. At this point, we had filled up all six suitcases and multiple backpacks. I didn't mention it, but Pokemon gave us a truckload of gifts that we cool. Cool. We had no idea what to do with. We're grateful nonetheless. Thank you, Pokemon. But yeah, the, the taxi ride was a bit awkward. So are you meeting up with some friends? Ah. No. After we got situated <laughs> in the new place, we decided to look around the area and grab some lunch. And I gotta say, the little hole-in-the-wall restaurant Jacob found was some of the best ramen I've ever ever had ever they even made it vegetarian for me which was extremely kind of them oh that's Pokemon nice buying is a bit tricky in japan compared to the states so i was very very thankful and it was delicious we then proceeded to do absolutely nothing for the rest of the day because we were exhausted from the trip so far sure. i haven't mentioned absolutely everything we'd been doing on the trip because it would be a lot of first we did this and it was cool then we did this and it was cool even though it was such a pleasure to be invited i was was so dead and definitely looked super not approachable or friendly oh, to yeah, the, rest of the group by the end of it. 
Sorry, guys. But neither time nor Japan stops for anyone, so we had to keep on chugging along. There were a bunch of friends we wanted to see while in Japan, and one of them was Connor. He wanted to take us to what he deemed his favorite Italian place ever. I asked if it was like fancy Italian, to which I was given the answer of no. So we get there having a great time, and suddenly we realize Junichi Masuda, the director of Game Freak, is there having dinner. Not a fancy dinner, my ass. I didn't look <laughs> yeah, good why not run into him? Fazbear FNAF t-shirt that I am wearing. Not the best Jane moment to exist, but hey, what can you do? The food that was happens. phenomenal, though. I already mentioned the best ramen I've ever had while on the trip, but this was genuinely the best pasta I've ever had in my entire life. Maybe even a top three meals ever for me. Oh. I don't know what the other two would be, but that Connor place is definitely up there. The next okay. day, we went to the One Piece store in Shibuya and bought a lot of stuff because there was a lot of of topical and hype things in there as you could imagine if you don't get it go catch up and come back don't worry it won't take too long my favorite character is mihawk but out of all the stuff the store had to offer there were only a few stickers and a single keychain from mihawk i'm still mauling about that one i just want more mihawk is that too much to ask for even this guy got better merch the world's greatest swordsman <laughs> deserves better I guess I'll just take my Zoro and Law stuff. That's cool too, I suppose. I also found a bunch of Chikawa stuff in a Kitty Land store. And this is truly when you get to see where things start going downhill for me. I just like the funny little cartoon bear thing. What, is that such a crime? I don't remember what we did the rest of the day. I think we just crashed and passed out. This trip, as surreal as it's been so far, has been absolutely taking a toll on me and i desperately needed to just not move or talk yeah i mean that's a lot of walking around lots of social interaction just like every part exhausting fuck or exist for a bit we were doing so many different things that were all awesome and hanging out with so many different people that were all awesome but man i am not built for extended periods of that much excitement and socializing as much as i would like to change this fact i'm also not a very active person i know i know up until until this trip, I was practically sitting down 24-7, working all the time to prep as much work as possible so I could have a guilt-free three weeks off. And my muscles were definitely starting to decay at that point. Yeah, I, I can see at that. my phone step meter thing, and there was one day where I literally got 300 steps. That's pathetic. No, and that's not a lot. suddenly, I'm logging over 20,000 daily. My body was screaming. What the hell are you doing out there? Please? Yeah, it makes sense when you don't really walk too much and then all of a sudden you're walking around like crazy. Your body's gonna just be like, what the hell, man? Please stop. Plus, we were in Japan during the hottest, most humid time of the year. Every time we left the air-conditioned luxury of a building, we would immediately be drenched in sweat. Look, I'm used to the heat. I grew up in Arizona, but even and this was too much. So yeah, crash and burn it was. Tokyo Disneyland was Ooh. a bit underwhelming. It oh. felt like a slightly worse version of the one in California because of the oddly spaced layout and surprisingly empty vibe. We did go to a Stitch themed show thing and as we were walking in, a worker stopped us and said, oh, excuse me, Stitch only speaks Japanese. Like, warning us it's not super tourist friendly. But I just think the statement of Stitch only speaks Japanese is hilarious. We went in anyway, and yep, Stitch only spoke Japanese. Kazoku. Yeah, overall, it was not the best thing we did, but apparently, I didn't know this, Japan has two Disneys. Disneyland and Disney Sea, and we went to land, oh. which is unanimously deemed the worst of the two. Oh. So, oops, better luck next time. All Jimmy right. and I took two more rest days where we just turned to ash, then up and at him, back to Osaka we go. This time, we went to an Eve concert. Besides Hatsune Miku, the Japanese band Eve is the only other concert I've said I wanted to go see. I love their music videos they have for all their songs. It's always such beautiful animation. And by the way, they're the ones who sang the season one Jujutsu Kaisen anime my opening theme if you're lost earlier oh said, i didn't know that that's awesome i'm just getting into that a concert while we were there and lo and behold they were he got some totally not scalped tickets which turned out to be a super complicated process so thank you jacob you're the bestest friend i've ever had thank you for going through the trenches for a silly old me anyway the concert was so incredible the atmosphere was fantastic they had awesome visual effects going on the glow bands a lot of people bought were perfectly synced to the music and 
colors on the stage, which really enhanced the experience. The music was great, which I mean, of course it was. That was the whole reason we went in the first place. I talk about it more in the upcoming Miku video, but Japanese encores are so much different from the American ones. They're oh, so ow. quiet and polite. There is pretty much no screaming and cheering. It was just a long applause with a semi-whisper chant of Encore, Encore. And they also made us wait like five minutes for them to come back yeah, out. That part makes sense. I know how respectful like Japanese audiences can be. I've seen uh, different uh, Japanese wrestling promotions that are just super duper polite. Oh, my hands were getting itchy just from clapping so much. That's how long it took. And then when they finally came out, they ended up doing like five extra songs. I mean, I'm not complaining. But after the fourth time thinking, man, that was a great last extra song. Well, time to head home. What? Another? It starts getting a bit comedic. This yeah, yeah, I would changing, say so. But Jacob went off to use the Don't overstay your welcome. Show started and came back 10 minutes later like, dude, this is crazy, but it took me a bit longer to find a bathroom because there were so many extra women's bathrooms, which is like, whoa, that's actually so smart. There's always such a huge line for the women's bathroom compared to the men's in any scenario. I was just shocked Japan was like, okay, then we'll make more women's bathrooms to fix that problem. Like it was so simple. I know in America, it would probably turn into a stupid political thing, but it probably. made me so happy Japan just implemented such an obvious and straightforward solution so easily for the gals. The next day we headed over to Universal, which was hands down the best amusement park I've ever been to. So they can do amusement parks well. First of all, Universal Japan is way more anime and manga focused than the ones in the States, which made it instantly more engaging for me. Jacob and I both agreed we would window shop for the first part of the Oh, day. window we shopping, huh? Things we wanted as we were leaving so uh -huh. we wouldn't have to lug around a bunch of bags all day. But we immediately- Yeah, of course you do. Shop and cracked. We just yep. wanted to wear these one piece headbands. That's rule breaking worthy. We also got some towels because surprise, surprise Surprise, it was freaking hot. Of course I know it was. I've been complaining about the weather here and there, but my lord, it was miserably scorching. Japan has such a big culture around staying cool while outside, and I totally get it now. People would be walking around with little fans, ice packs, towels. A lot of women had parasols. I'll say, if we didn't get those towels, we probably could have passed out from heat stroke that day. Oh, Later no. Later on, I even Don't ended up that. getting another towel. It was a cute Pikachu one, but I got it mainly because it was a cloak design after soaking that thing in cold water and putting it on my body temperature instantly lowered like five degrees however that meant i was walking around the park looking like this Back to the awesome stuff. We did a bunch of attractions like watch a fun 4D Jujutsu Kaisen show where the seats move around. Went on a ah. super cool 3D VR Spider-Man ride. That's we tried fun. to cool down by going on a Minions thing called Freeze Ray Sliders that claimed to cool riders down with a blast of chilled mist from a giant freeze ray. But we got on and absolutely did not even touch a drop of the mist because it never ended up getting in range of our car. Oh that God. That felt like an actual tragedy at the time. That's there awful. were a few big roller coasters we wanted to go on, but I get super motion sick and forgot to bring nausea medicine, so no roller coasters for us, but I shall return one day. The park, of course, had a bunch of cool themed restaurants, one of them being a super cool One Piece restaurant. Did I mention I like One Piece? Yeah, uh, a we got that. one, but we didn't know you needed a reservation, so. It was awesome though. I love One Piece. After a few hours of rides and being broiled alive, we decided to fully cool off by going on the Jurassic Park ride. That's just giant splash mountain with dinosaurs. We sure. cooked in line for probably a solid hour. And as soon as we were literally stepping foot inside the ride, it started pouring rain. Now that's just not fair. No, I don't even it's not. understand how that happened, but whatever we started buying all the stuff we window shopped for as we waited for the one piece live show to begin again please refrain from judging i am being vulnerable and open here by the way as we were walking i'm around, all good we stumbled onto a little mario themed show just out in a courtyard area they played some fun little custom songs and had all these dancers alongside the mascots and then out of nowhere they started absolutely blasting the crowd with like gallons of water i didn't even see it coming it was like firefighters showed up to 
put out a giant fire, except the fire was a bunch of Japanese people. The time came and we got to file in for the special One Piece live show, and even though Jacob and I didn't understand a single part of it because it was all in Japanese, it was awesome, and the costume design was phenomenal. It was a bit unfortunate though, because the seats were all in like a half circle formation around the stage. As much as they tried to make the show enjoyable from all angles, it was pretty hard to see the main things going on in the yeah, center. Yeah, I've been to those shows. Though, is that Zoro didn't come to our side at all. All the other characters rotated around so we could see them, but Zoro only did it at the very end to take a bow. Also, Mihawk being included would have been nice, but it's okay. By the time <laughs> we got to enter Nintendo Land, oh, she loves like she loves him. We huh? got up at 6 a.m. by the way, so we pretty much just rode the Yoshi's Island ride they don't have in the states and headed home because that's all the energy we had left. But even just seeing that, it was miles better than the one in the states. Also, we picked up a little dinner at the 7-Eleven near our hotel. 7-Eleven is actually awesome in Japan, by the way. And they had a few little Chikoa plushie keychains, and I bought them. Just being of transparent course. here. We woke up early the next morning to catch our flight back to Tokyo and hurried over to the Kirby Cafe. Emily actually booked the reservation for us. She was meant to also be there, but she was only able to get two seats and gave them to us as a gift. Emily... I will always oh, that's so nice. sacrifice. The cafe itself was so well decorated with all these little Kirby things and the menu was adorable. I got the star curry and a magical little fruity drink with Ooh. a Kirby marshmallow that triggered my cute aggression. <laughs> I bet. Kirby burger. But since so we good. made modifications, the staff asked him to not post a picture of the burger to the public. Like, they didn't know he was a content creator or anything. I guess they just didn't want the public to see a naked Kirby burger. We also oh. both got desserts. That's odd. I already decided I was gonna consume the Kirby. The presentation was beautiful. It was literal art on a plate. Taste-wise, it was decent. The body was some sort of gelatin, which I wasn't too crazy about, but the rest was super tasty. I did my best, but he ended up looking like he was in a horrific accident when oh I Oh god! The cafe also has a special little private store connected to it. And yeah, what you expect happened definitely happened. We left with full bags and course. bags, continued to look around the shopping center the cafe was connected to, and ended up walking into a gotcha store. I am about to be very vulnerable with you here. Uh oh. This is one of the lowest points of my entire life. Oh no! Please don't think too much less of me. Okay. After what All right. Happened in that gotcha store. I mean, so listen, I, I I'm surrounded by pops. Uh. I like video games and various other things. So nothing can... I I'm good. I walk in, spot Chikawa, beeline it to the machine, obviously. Like I mentioned before, I'm only interested in Chikawa, so I was only playing for him. But by the cursed luck of the gacha gods, I just could not get him. I was going back and forth between the machine and the coin exchange, getting multiples of every other little guy, but no Chikawa. I could feel the workers' glances at me, probably because the desk they were standing behind was right next to the machine. Oh, operator. that's awkward. But after way too much money, he dropped. I got my well-earned, Horribly priced at that point, Chikawa. I then started looking at all the other machines, putting some coins in a few here and there, until I stopped at one that had a line of animals playing band instruments. They were very silly, but there was a little pigeon holding up symbols, and I really wanted to get him for oh, Jordan no. and Kelsey. In went the coins. Tiger, elephant, fox... It was happening again. Everything oh no. except the one I wanted. Which I know more or less that's the luck with gotchas. But it was getting to the point where I was getting surprised the pigeon was dodging me as much as it was. Surely the next one. What? Eventually I had to go back to the coin exchange. And as I was about to put in more money, I saw out of the corner of my eye one of the workers peek out and take a look in horror. No! Oh! All the gotcha pawns that were sitting at the top of my bag. They then raised up their hand and said something in Japanese while shaking their head. And I knew in my heart, I was being cut off. Oh! No, please, I, I can stop whenever oh. just a few more hits and I I'm done. Oh. I can feel it. Why, why do you look afraid? What's under the desk? I got kicked out of a gotcha store. <laughs> Oh no! Hit an all-time low. <laughs> I told my 
my friends and they said they probably just thought I was gonna try and resell them. But I don't even know if that would even make it sound better knowing I was getting so many that they thought I was robbing them blind. I just wanted my little chikawa and pigeon with symbols. We made dinner plans that night with a friend and we were just about to grab a taxi and head back to freshen up. But Jacob and I caught sight of a fun anime and goodies shop. Who do we think we are? Oh no. People with self-control? Oh no! <laughs> we'll make it quick. We rushed in and split up for optimization. As I was looking around, I saw it. A whole section dedicated to Chikawa. Of course. Like someone put a freshly baked pie on a windowsill and I was suddenly floating over to it. My eyes were zoned in, making sure I saw every single thing possible, putting Chikawa after Chikawa in the basket. Jacob eventually came over and showed me a picture he took on his phone. In my tunnel vision, all my eyes registered was that the picture showed more Chikawa in the store. I immediately went feral. Where? Jacob's eyebrows went up in surprise and maybe a bit of fear. And as I looked at the photo again, I realized Jacob wasn't showing me a picture of a different Chikawa section. He was showing me a picture of me at the current Chikawa section I was standing in because he thought it was funny. And in my Chikawa brain rot, I didn't even register I was in the picture. I just saw more Chikawa oh! obsessive. <laughs> this is how I am. Either stand by me or leave. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I looked longingly at the crane machine Chikawas we didn't have time for, and we made it in time for dinner. Plus, we ended up in another arcade nearby anyway, and I got myself a Chikawa from one of those machines, so it worked out. Stop, I don't want to hear it. Finally, we were reaching the end of our trip. We spent the last day grabbing lunch with Emily and Didus. There was a cool One Piece scavenger hunt event going on, so we also did that with them. We basically had to walk around Shibuya and find special One Piece trading card posters hidden around the area. And if we found enough along with the special card of the day, we could get a limited edition mystery card. It was fun, but also hot. Yeah. All my clothes were sticking to my body. Dice oh. generously let me yeah. borrow his umbrella, and I jumped for joy as he showed me it was coincidentally Chikawa thing. Oh, the Chikawas again! What's wrong with me? All I know is that bear makes me happy. We spent a few hours completing the scavenger hunt, got our special cards, and bid them farewell. Always good to see you guys. Bye bye. Bye. I accidentally stole Didus' umbrella. It looked so calculated. They knew how much I was obsessed with Chikawa. They'd been watching my Instagram stories. Follow if you want to see brain rot in real time. Emily, I have the Chikawa umbrella. I didn't mean to steal it, I promise. It's not what it looks like. Since we were leaving in the morning and wouldn't be seeing them again, they just let me keep it. But the side eye Jacob gave me the rest of the way back. <laughs> I oh, I get. Mean to stop <laughs> yeah, sure you did. Apartment. Sure. <laughs> Reality hit us hard. We needed just a few more suitcases. Again. In total, we ended up buying six extra suitcases. Six? Everything we collectively bought. And even then, it was a struggle making it fit. Jacob How are you going to carry that onto the plane? Ended up well, at least get it checked anyway. Tetris mode, perfectly fitting everything into the suitcases with quite yeah, you gotta literally Tetris no everything extra together. room to spare. We came to Japan each with a backpack, carry-on, and one extra big suitcase. And we're leaving with, all together, eight suitcases and four backpacks. Yikes. We were lucky the taxi driver had a big enough car to fit everything. Yeah, seriously. We didn't have much of a game plan if it didn't. Off to the airport we went where we checked all of our excessive bags, paid a couple fees, boarded our flight, and headed home. That trip will go down as one of the best trips I've ever gone on. It felt like it turned into a celebration of everything that makes me me. All of my hobbies and interests, Pokemon, One Piece, at the last minute, Chikawa. Lots of Chikawa. So many incredible <laughs> things and were given so many opportunities I'd never even thought I could be a part of. I got to see so many friends that are normally so far away, ate 
some of the best meals of my life and overall was just really happy especially getting to spend it all with my best friend jacob oh that's so nice if you wanted to know why in the world we got so many things yes a lot of it was for us 90 percent of it all was for our friends oh of the chica was stuff was mine but oh no, sure yeah if yeah, you want to see what we got them also credit where credit is due the majority of it all was from jacob because he's a great gift giver and even more incredible friend to the people around him we're Way to go, jacob. nothing short of lucky to be able to call him our friend you Way can go, go watch his japan video i assume it's already up because we had to animate a freaking 30 minute long video my god it was a lot thanks for sticking around but yeah i just had an unforgettable trip and i owe the opportunity to the pokemon company for inviting us to japan in the first place i'm extremely lucky to be in the position i am and will be forever grateful yeah that that's super freaking awesome to be able to do something like that to be able to go to a special place like that and just splurge on all like the coolest gifts the coolest things ever and i know because you know she was talking a lot about her chikawa obsession but like Look at all behind me. I mean, you can't even see all the rows of pops that I have. I had a time to where I just was just like, oh, I'll buy that pop. I'll buy that one. I'll buy that one. I'll buy that one. So, like, obsession and, um, well, not, not obsession, just more, I, I guess, addiction in, the, in this case to buying more and more pops to her, buying more and more different types of uh, Chikawas and, like, uh, various other things that things she, uh, stuff that she loves. Uh, I I totally get it. Trust me. All right, I have I think the number is like ninety something now pops that I have. Uh, I I mean I'm I'm going to buy more eventually, but you know I don't want to go broke. I don't want to be like, hey money, uh, can 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 I have, can, can I have more of you please so I can buy more of these things that I'm just going to display up there and just gonna stay forever and never and ever. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, that was a ton of fun. Kudos to her for being able to go on that trip. I've always wanted to go to Japan, visit some of these really cool stores, see some wrestling there, because I know wrestling is a big deal over there as well. So, so happy to hear she had fun. So happy to hear that Jacob had fun as well and bought all of those really cool things for people. That, 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 that's super awesome to do. But uh, that will do it for me here. Comment down below. Let me know what did you think about this one. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Please check all those links I have for you down in the description below. And lastly, most importantly, I want to give a huge shout out to all my $5 and up supporters on Patreon, Luchador. Cruising, Wolverine 310, GBN, Kester Cronage, Welcome Back, Joseph McSweeney, Amber K, Raymond Bright, Joshi, Chris Curtis, Haley Machinarni, Ann Perry, Larka, Fox Cophony, Morgan Page, Alfred Frioli, Izzy, Misa, Misa 2, Lily the Snoopy Fan, None Say Sing, Lauren, Jenny the Swifty, Allison the Aesthetic Girl, Mad Hushy, and Likeable Loser. And if you too like to have a shout out at each and every one of my videos, please head on over to patreon.com slash thedareactor for more. And I'll see you guys next time.